Hello, welcome to TechWeb. This is part one of comparison series. So today we will discuss what is the difference between Microsoft.NET Framework and .NET Core. We will discuss what is .NET Platform, what is .NET Framework and its architecture, when to use .NET Framework, what is .NET Core, when to use .NET Core, and what is the difference between .NET Framework and .NET Core. All the sources available on my blog, and the link is given in description. Okay, so let's start. The main thing is .NET Platform and in that we have everything. A .NET Platform is a developer platform made up of tools like Visual Studio, Visual Studio Code and Visual Studio for Mac. Okay. And another tools are OmniSharp, JetBrains, Rider, .NET Core CLI and Ionite. Supported programming languages like C Sharp, F Sharp and BB and libraries for building many different type of applications available in .NET Platform. Okay, so there are various implementation of .NET Platform and each allow us to .NET Code to execute in different places like Linux, Mac OS, Windows, iOS, Android and many more. So what are the implementation? One number, number one is .NET Framework is the original implementation of .NET that we have used so many times. It supports running website, services, desktop app and more on Windows. And the new one is .NET Core is a cross-platform implementation for running websites, services and console apps on Windows, Linux, Mac OS, .NET Core is open source on GitHub as well. So the main difference is in .NET Core, it is a cross-platform, okay? And it can run on any of the operating system or we can develop on any of the operating system. And third imp implementation is Xamarin or you can say Mono is a .NET implementation for running apps on all the major mobile operating systems including iOS and Android. So let's proceed further. So what is .NET Framework? It's a software developer framework for building and running applications on win or Windows. And .NET Framework is a part of .NET Platform, a collection of technologies for building apps for Linux, Mac OS, Windows iOS and Android. So this is our .NET Framework. Yes, basic understanding is required. No. What is the basic architecture of .NET Framework? .NET Framework applications are written in C Sharp, F Sharp, Op, or Visual Basic, and compiled to common intermediate language. Okay. On the right side, you can see I have mentioned the few steps which are followed through to run the code of C Sharp. One is C Sharp code compiled by the compiler, and then goes to command line interface, then goes to common language runtime, which hand over the machine code. Okay. That is understood by the system okay so the CLR runs dot an application on a given machine converted the CIL to machine code okay the main component of dotnet framework is CLR which is common language runtime and dotnet framework class library and CLR is the execution engine that handles running application okay CLR is for handle running application and class library is provided a set of APIs and type of common functionality like okay like apis so we have understand what are the things which are provided by dotnet framework now comes to dotnet core what dotnet core can provide to us and in when we need to use dotnet core if you have cross platform need or if you are targeting microservices or you are using docker container you need high speed performance and scalable systems if you want to use several versions of dotnet in the same project and side by side the dotnet core is the preferred choice so in in all the cases we can use dotnet core and one more thing if you are not aware about docker so please stay tuned with us in the upcoming videos i will make a video on docker as well okay so what are the main advantages of dotnet core over dotnet core framework i know this is a little bit theory but this is a very important theory at the end of this video you will be able to decide what framework you need to use for your application okay so what are the advantages of dotnet core over dotnet framework dotnet core is a brand new rewritten popular scalable faster and modern replacement of dotnet framework yes it is a replacement of dotnet framework but there are so many things that dotnet framework can do but not dotnet core okay so now here we are in the dotnet core advantages so dotnet core can work with multiple platforms such as windows linux mac os which is not the case with dotnet framework Yes, we know .NET Core is open source and .NET Framework is not. Okay, .NET Framework is not open source. Entity Framework Core is better than Entity Framework used in .NET Framework with better mapping such as auto mapper, migration and query performance. Microservices are present in .NET Core which comes 
under the SOA means service oriented architecture and easy to deploy in parts. .NET Core 3 supports WPF and Windows Form so developer can build modern Windows client applications. You can use Xamarin with .NET Core at this point. Even though .NET Core supports VB, F Sharp but this is not supported for all the project types. Okay. Now we know the advantage of .NET Core. Now what is the advantage of .NET Framework over .NET Core where we should use .NET Framework not .NET Core. So if your application currently using .NET Framework, so it's recommend you to extend instead of migrating your application to .NET Core. No need to migrate. Your app uses third party .NET libraries or NuGet packages not available for the .NET Core. Okay. So if you are using in your current project NuGet packages, so there is no recommendation to move on .NET Core. Your app uses .NET technologies that are not available for dotnet core because there are so many things which are not available in dotnet core your app uses a platform that does not support dotnet core yes there is a different set of requirement for dotnet core but might be your machine is not compatible for the dotnet core installation so that's why we are saying dotnet core windows mac os linux support dotnet core okay dotnet core is fully matured and is still evolving okay features such as code access security are not present in the .NET Core. So .NET Framework do have the edge in that case. The material documentation and tools available for .NET Framework are far more and more matured compared to .NET Core. Even though .NET Core is catching up fast but there is still long way to go. Okay. So on the final note what is the main difference between .NET Core and .NET Framework is .NET Core and .NET Framework share many of the same component and you can share code across the two. Some key differences include .NET Core is cross-platform and runs on Linux, Mac OS and Windows and .NET Framework only runs on Windows. .NET Core is open source except contribution from the community but .NET Framework source code is available but does not take direct contributions. The majority of .NET innovations happens in .NET Core which is a new one. .NET Core framework is included in Windows and automatically updated machine wide by Windows Update but .NET Core is shipped independent. At the end of this video I hope my information will help you to take a decision what framework you need to choose in your application. Okay. So thanks for watching. If you have any question please leave a comment I will reply on that as soon as possible. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.